How many key pouches are too many key pouches to have? So this video was graciously brought to us by Amber Ashley. I will leave her channel down below as well as the video that she did for this tag. Um, go definitely go check out her channel. You'll absolutely love her. She is so nice and she just has a great YouTube channel. So I highly recommend checking her channel out. It'll be in the description box down below. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. My name is Jonathan. I make luxury videos, unboxings, and reviews. And today's video is a tag from Amber Ashley. It's so nice. I bought it twice, or in my case, up to four times. So let's get into it. Before we get started with today's video, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help my channel grow. I make videos every Friday on luxury content, men's style, luxury unboxings, you name it, it's here on this channel. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see my So Nice I Bought It Twice, then keep on watching. So we're going to start off with these two pieces. They are the Louis Vuitton monogram card holders. I do have them in the reverse monogram as well as the traditional monogram. I did buy this one first. I just loved how classic and how elegant this was. And not gonna lie, I really did want a reverse monogram piece in my collection. So I figured why not get the card holder. And then I liked this one so much that I decided to get a regular monogram one just because I felt as though this is a little bit more everyday use. And this one is a little bit more for special and like dressed up occasions. So these are the first two items that I did purchase. Moving on to the second item that I bought twice is going to be probably my favorite SLG. And I haven't mentioned majority of these items, if not all of these items are SLGs and they are all from Louis Vuitton. And that is going to be my six key ring holder. So I absolutely love my six key ring holder. I use this one every single day for work. And so I had to go ahead and purchase the monogram one just because I wanted to have a backup. One of my subscribers and one of my really good friends here on YouTube, hey girl, you know who you are. She kind of um, suggested that I do get two so that way I can kind of like rotate it. So that way when I send this one out for repair, which I still have yet to do that, um, I can use this one so I'm not without a six keyring holder. And with the Louis Vuitton price increases, I just had to go and buy one just because these are now like almost 400 Canadian dollars plus tax. And when I first bought my six key ring holder in the Damier Abin, it was about $250 Canadian. So I absolutely love the six key ring holder. I highly recommend, I know it had a lot of hype, but I actually see why these are so hyped so much. Um, they're really great pieces in my opinion. As I mentioned, I do use this one every day for work and you can actually fit a card in here. I did do a really detailed review on the six key ring holder. I'll leave a link up here if you wanna go check out that video after this one. But yes, so nice. I bought it twice, the six key ring holder. Moving on to the next item that I did buy twice is going to be my Louis Vuitton coin card holder. So I did originally have the reverse monogram eclipse one. So it does have the monogram eclipse reverse on the front and then the traditional monogram eclipse on the back. And then I recently just saw this one. Um, I purchased this one recently. Um, it is from the Tigerama collection. It is in the gunmetal. I absolutely love this gunmetal color. I thought it would be similar to the reverse monogram eclipse, but it's actually really more silvery in comparison. So I purchased this one just because this matches my key ball XS and I kind of wanted another nice silver one just to go with it if I wanted to just be full reverse. I really wish that they had this and like a full reverse eclipse. I absolutely love the reverse eclipse. So I kind of like how this one is like all silvery. I know a lot of people it's kind of like up and down between whether or not they like this color. I personally think it's great if you like metallics or if you like this kind of like gunmetal look. I absolutely love this color. So. I just have to go pick up both. I think this one is gonna look so cute in my Keep All XS, just because when I put this one in there, it kind of sometimes get lost because it is dark and the inside lining of the Keep All is dark. So this one just adds that little bit of color and pop so that way I can like easily grab this whenever I'm reaching inside my bag. So so nice, I bought it twice. 
the coin card holder from Louis Vuitton. So the next two items, I don't necessarily know if you would classify it as an SLG, but for me, I do. So they are going to be my Louis Vuitton belts. So these are the initials belts. I have it in the Damier Avene as well as the Damier Graffite. You're gonna notice that I do like to have a Graffite and a Damier Avene comparison for majority of my items. And so I bought this one first absolutely love it this has this belt has been through the ringer if i could only keep five items and i've done this in a video before uh, from my louis vuitton collection this one would hands down be part of that so i just bought this one and i absolutely love it because it goes with just about anything and then i bought this one because i wanted to have more belts in my collection i'm a belt guy through and through i wear a belt pretty much every single day only time i'm not wearing a belt is when i'm in sweats um, but that's really only when I'm like lounging around in the house. If I'm going out anywhere, whether it be to work, whether it be just a general hangout, shopping, whatever have you, I'm always wearing a belt. So I absolutely love these Louis Vuitton belts. This one I haven't used as much as the black one just because I feel as though black goes with everything. I have been told and my mom tells me that brown goes with just about anything just as well as black. So probably going to start to use this one a little bit more to work more so and then to general casual occasions just because i feel as though the brown one is a little bit more dressier i don't know why i just think that way but so nice i bought it twice it's going to be my louis vuitton initials belts so the next item is actually so nice i bought it thrice and if you're not new to my channel you're obviously going to know what it is just because i talk about this item in particular quite a bit especially with price increases it is one of those items that are always subjected to large increases during the Louis Vuitton price increase. So that is going to be my mini pochette. So I have it in the trifecta, in the monogram, the Damier Abin, as well as the Damier Azure. Fun fact, the Damier Azure one was my very first video on YouTube. It was an unboxing of this guy. And so once I got this one, I knew that I wanted to get the Dami Abin one just because I absolutely love the red interior of this mini pochette. And then I just felt as though I needed to get the monogram just because to complete the set. Um, as I mentioned in my last week's video, have yet to use these pieces. Unfortunately, I don't know how to incorporate them into my lifestyle, but I feel as though with the price increases, it's just going to be so hard for me to sell them just because of FOMO. And so that's probably one of the reasons as to why I purchased all three is because I wanted to see what the hype was for all of them and because it's so hard to get of an item i just felt as though i needed to get all three just so that way i can say that i have them in my collection obviously it's not the best reason to have these in your collection but for me i am a collector i'm a huge louis vuitton fan so i just had to get all three of them into my collection but yes the mini pushettes are so nice i bought it thrice so the next item is going to be so nice i bought it four different times but hear me out, the item that I am talking about is going to be my pocket organizers. So I did start off my collection with the Damier Graffite, and I absolutely love this pocket organizer to death. I used it quite a bit. And then I went and started to dabble in the world of limited editions. So I thought limited editions are going to be great, especially of having a little pocket organizer like this, where that way you can have a little bit of a piece of the collection without having to invest in a full handbag. And I just think because I love my pocket organizer so much, especially for the back pocket, it fits in all my mini bags and it just holds a bunch of cards for the little, for the size that this is. I just figured these are such a great piece to have, especially if you want to be more compact with your wallet. So then I ended up getting the um, LV and Nego collection pocket organizer. I had to search high and low for this one. Once I saw this drop, I was kind of iffy about whether or not I liked it. But then obviously once it sold out, I could not stop thinking about it. So I actually had to go and purchase this from, uh, uh, from a personal shopper and paid a little bit above retail for it. But don't regret it. Absolutely love this piece. And then I bought the NBA collabs. So this was the first one that I got. If I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't really want this one as my first choice. It was my second choice for pocket organizers. I really wanted the Arctic white one with the blue interior, but that one sold out super quickly and my sales associate could not get her hands on it. 
So I ended up going for this one just because I wanted to have something from the first drop for the Louis Vuitton and MBA. And I haven't used this one, as I mentioned in my last video. It is more of a collector's piece. I don't plan on using it. I just think it's really classic and it's really classic and it's kind of unique. Um, these are conversation starters for me. A lot of people like to see my limited editions, even though I don't have many. But I love bringing these guys out as my little bit of like an ooh, ah kind of moment. And then this one, it was like the piece de resistance for me. I had to search high and low for this. And I stalked the website constantly. When I saw this uh, drop on Foxy LV's Instagram, like this screams LV and NBA. In comparison to the first drop, I think the second drop was a lot, lot better. Like this physically looks like a basketball for me. Uh, so I absolutely had to get this. There was a whole saga about this uh, this item. I pre-ordered it, ended up getting cancelled, and then I luckily found it on the website and I just immediately checked out with it. So I'm so happy that I was able to add this into my collection. But these are so nice. I bought it four times, my pocket organizers. Last but certainly not least, the item that I bought five times over and over and over again is going to be none other than my Louis Vuitton key pouches so i absolutely love the key pouch it is as i've mentioned in several videos before uh, essential to have in any luxury collection so i do have the damier graffiti one as well as the damier azure i do have the monogram and then i do have two of the damier abine uh, so you're probably going to ask why i have two of the damier abine well, unfortunately, my first one that I did get gifted kind of broke and it is cracked down the middle and I'm a very sentimental person and so I do not want to get rid of it. I wanted to have a functional one in my collection, so I went and purchased this one. So I have all four of them into my collection and I recently saw that Foxy LV did it again. Honestly, I think I need to unfollow this girl on Instagram because she posts all these things and I just want them all. But now they are coming out with a monogram reverse eclipse key pouch. So when I first saw that one on the Trio Messenger, I wanted to get that one so, so, so bad. But it was kind of hesitant to get it just because um, I would have to buy it pre-loved, obviously. And it wasn't the exact same as these ones. So that one does have a little bit of a chain here. But these ones have a full chain on the inside. I'm sure you're all familiar with the Louis Vuitton key pouch. So I have to buy that one. <laughs> so now I'm going to have six of these key pouches. I'm hoping that Louis Vuitton does not come out with any more. Um, I don't know what other ones that they could come out with. Although I really do want the Ampriant leather one. Um, I think it's the bicolor in the women's set collection. It's black with cream. I'll put a picture of it here or here. So that way you can know which one I'm talking about. I absolutely love that colorway. And, and I think for me to have something like that in my collection as a key pouch would be great. Just because I don't think I could be fully invested in a bag for that. Just because I think it is a little bit feminine um, for my taste. But absolutely love the key pouch. So I think I might get that one. So who knows? Maybe I'll have it seven times. How many key pouches are too many key pouches to have? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Um, but yes. The Louis Vuitton key pouch is so nice. I bought it five times and maybe a sixth time. Stay tuned for that video. But yeah, so nice. I bought the key pouch five times. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. This was my so nice. I bought it twice tag video from Amber Ashley. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.